What's up, y'all? I'm here. This is Enoch the Cigar Emperor. And I'm here with my man Billy C. In Lake Oswego, Oregon, man. Billy, what's going on? How you doing, man? Doing most excellent. Hey, man, I appreciate this interview, too, man. Uh, I just want you to tell the people where we at, name the Cigar Lounge, and then we're going to take a, a tour in your, uh, in your humidor, man. Yeah, we're, so right, I, we're right here at Broadway Cigar Company in Lake Oswego. How, how long you been here? How long you been managing here? I, I've been managing here. This is my fourth year. I've been with the company for almost five years. Cool, cool, cool. What you? I see you got a cigar here, of course. We're in a cigar lounge. What you smoking on right I'm now? I'm smoking the Eastern Standard by Caldwell Cigars. So this man got a lot of style. Um, you tell the people kind of like, you know, your experience with cigars, some of the events y'all got coming up here, and some of the events you've been to. And oh, I, this year in January, the, the owner sent me to Tobacco Products Expo down in Vegas. Cool, cool. That, that was cool, the trade show there. And then in July, I was at the Premium Cigar Association in Vegas at the Venetian with all the different cigar vendors, Steve Saka. Steve Saka, uh, yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, Christian Iroa and Pete Johnson and Bob Newman and all of the all and Rudy Padron and all of them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So uh, what did you do before you got off in the cigar industry and what made you want to step into this uh, industry? I was in the car business for thirty one years managing car dealerships. Wow. And about a little bit over four years ago, so almost five years ago, Jason the owner is my friend, said Hey, come have a cigar with me. <laughs> and so I went down and saw him. We had a cigar about halfway through. He says, now I know that your old boss, Frank, is retiring in two weeks. What are you going to do? I find a job. He says, well, I'll make you a job offer. It's fun getting old. And you only work five days a week, not six. You only work uh, and you get to smoke cigars. And I go, okay. <laughs> and that was that. And that was that. Important. It's a lot less stressful. Exactly, exactly. And you know, people love having the luxury in your hand. Exactly. So, uh, what do you when you smoke a cigar? Do you have a favorite brand or a favorite one? Or do you have a, a certain pairing you like to do with your cigars? Or? Oh, I like uh, coffee and cigars. I like uh, Liga Pravada T fifty two. Oh yeah. One of my favorites. I, I love the Opus X. Oh, definitely. I love the Padrones. Yes. And my new favorite is uh, the Despolito by Dapper. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we can uh, take a look into your humor also. People that's in this area of yeah, Oregon yeah. or anywhere, in the, if y'all in the Portland uh, metro area, y'all got to come and check out my man Billy C. Man, this guy's very knowledgeable. He's an aficionado. Uh, very knowledgeable on cigars, and we're gonna check out this uh, humidor. You don't mind? Uh, no, absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna cut off y'all, and we're gonna go to this humidor. So we're in the humidor with Billy. Show us, show us all your new lines, man. Explain what you got. So some well, of this stuff I'm lost the, on. The number one seller, the Padrones, winner of Cigar of the Year four times by Cigar Aficionado, the only manufacturer to win four times. That is true. That is very true. Some of my absolute favorites. Top tens, by the way, yo. Oh, Liga Pravada number nine and the T-52. The hard to get Yagua from J.C. Newman, that you actually get in the Royal Palm Wheel. Right, right. The Opus X, Destino Siglo. Got the Destino, it's a big, well y'all already know how I feel about Opus X, y'all. And the Andalusian Bull. Andalusian Bull. You know, and that's, that's another thing. You, it's hard to find. It's a lot of Andalusian fans out there. But when you go to a lot of B&Ms, it's hard. You, you never really see these in a they lot been, of cigar That's houses. been the most difficult cigar to get this Yes, year. it is. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all in this area, man, and especially if y'all LFD fans, this is my, probably the best one out of the LFD to me. But y'all see he got some. So, And we just got back in the... Uh, Hemingway short story bestseller. This is the, to me, this is the most inexpensive best material of Wednesday for the price. I love those, man. You the, can't be the My Father's line is excellent. You got the My Father's uh, award winning cigars from the base right. Escape Cuba. That's right. You can't go wrong with the Pepe family, Pepe Garcia. No, you cannot. And I love the Wise Man series by Foundation Cigar, along with their new one, the Melanic. Very, very tasty. And oh, tabernacle. And I have a review coming up on this a minute like y'all. So hopefully y'all gonna be seeing that soon. That's a beautiful cigar too, man. I smoke this, man. It's nice. 
Uh, of course, we have the meat caritas and silver mesas by my man Steve, Steve Socket. That's right, that's right. And the Steelwell Stars just came in. Steelwell Stars, y'all. Now, now y'all see these, right? I haven't tried one yet. I've heard good reviews. Use everything Steve Socket did, even at Drew State, man. You know, he's a master blender, so. And then we have the cigar that you can't find anywhere. We have the exclusive on the Aqua Serra. Now, the story on this cigar was 15 years ago. This guy hit up Manuel from La Aurora right. to make these cigars. He had right. a big deposit, and then he canceled his order. Well, the cigars were already made. Oh, wow. So okay. they sat for 15 years in the factory humidor, and the nonprofit Aqua Serra bought them. Aqua Serra provi provides 50,000 gallons of drinking water for the less fortunate down there in the Clean Water Project in the Dominican Republic. So Jason, my partner, my, my good friend, who's the owner of Broadway Cigar, was goes to Dominican Republic every year in January for the whole month touring all the factories. And Manuel told him about these, and he bought them. Hmm. He bought the entire inventory of the small batch 15-year aged tobacco. Super smooth, light to medium. And a good fifty percent of the profits go to a good cause down there in Dominican. And that, that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So if you want something you can't find anywhere else, I got them. How do they smoke? How 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 is is they full you, body, medium body? No, light to medium. And that is the one I, I haven't you, smoked it yet. I haven't smoked, smoked it. You smoked the one right here. That and is the one that, I that's smoked. That's the one with yeah, the good ash it. Yeah, on it. that is the one I smoked. That I smoked that last week. That's yeah. right. I should have done a review on that. So I'm going to have to get awesome. another one to do a review. You're right. I smoked that one right in the lounge. You're right. Yes, another I so many cigars. Uh, my I'm favorite that recently came back in two days ago. The Numero Uno from Hoya de Nicaragua and the Cinco de Cadas, which is the 50th anniversary of Hoya de Nicaragua. This is a, this is a nice humidor, man. I like this. 320 plus bubble boxes of choices. And if you have specialty cigars that you, that you need to get, like the Unnamed Reserve Opus X, the Rare Pinks, the Saka Khan, Mi Carita Black, or the Liga Bravada 10th Anniversario, I have. So so what's the name of this lounge and, and, and address now, Billy? This is Broadway Cigar Company in Lake Oswego at 15561 Boone's Ferry Road in Lake Oswego, Oregon. Cool, cool. All right, and I'm gonna leave the contact, the numbers where y'all can call and talk to Billy. Uh, you don't do any or you don't do any uh y'all don't mail off of course. Oh absolutely I do. I'm shipping oh, wow. out a, a box of these later today. The first thing in the morning. This is the hundred and sixtieth anniversary of Partagus. That's a beautiful box. These are from two thousand and five. The tobacco used in here is here on these cigars are from nineteen seventy nine. Oh wow. This is about as close as you'll find to an much. age Cuban. It's pretty good. I like. I love the box. I definitely love the box. But y'all, this is my go-to lounge. Right? If, if I'm anywhere in the Portland area, you see these? My vision, CAOs. Look at that box, man. That's a beautiful stick. Well, y'all, see, I'm going to leave the contact, man. So if y'all need to call, like if y'all not in this area, you're not going to be here, then, like you say, you can send out. Absolutely. Cool, cool, cool. I, I, didn't, I didn't ask you that last time. I should have asked you that, but that's cool. So now y'all already know, man. Y'all got some stuff that's hard to find. You just hit my man, Billy Seal, man. I appreciate the interview, my man. Always. Thank you, bro. Always. And, uh, we're going to be doing some events here, man. So, hey, uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, I'm Enoch Cigar, and I'm out. Peace.